my name is Rachel and this past weekend being Easter I thought that it would be a good time to share a little bit about my story and my faith in Christ and how that's helped me so much along my journey with chronic illness so here we go so this is me a little over three years ago climbing in Colorado in Rocky Mountain National Park up until the last few years I was a rock climber and it was my absolute favorite thing to do. I loved it. I wanted to be a professional climber and I ended up losing climbing yeah. about three years ago due to being very sick and we found out that I have a genetic condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. and. I started having a lot of neurological issues, I started having a lot of headaches and passing out and having seizures and all sorts of scary things. And Yay! so flash forward, this is me in 2019, just after having a brain and spinal fusion surgery. But during the last few years, I've had so many hospital stays and emergency room visits and surgeries, and I've even had a couple of life-threatening infections. It's been pretty tough. But I've also been able to meet the most amazing people who have been through similar trials and have had similar conditions to me, and that's been a huge blessing. As you can imagine, this is not your typical newlywed experience, but my husband has been my best friend and supporter through all of this and I really couldn't do it without him. My life over the last three years or so has changed dramatically and it really felt like I lost everything. I lost my passions, I lost the ability to work, I was in a lot of pain every day and had a lot of symptoms, I still do. Just a lot of things that I never expected to happen and it's been really hard. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that, but I'm thankful that I've had my faith in Jesus Christ through this journey because he has walked with me and I have felt his presence and I felt that like there is a purpose for all that I've been through and have done my best to encourage others to keep having faith in Christ and to not give up and to keep having hope. It's just such a beautiful thing to understand that Christ knows what we're going through, he's felt it and He's there for us all the time and my purpose in sharing this story is not for you guys to feel bad for me or to feel scared that it might happen to you too. It probably won't but everybody goes through hard things and God doesn't always give us what we want or what we think we need but that doesn't mean that he doesn't love us. He still loves us and he has a purpose in every one of our plans. Just know that God is there for you and that he loves you and that he understands these trials that you're experiencing. And he walks with us when we're going through hard things and he walks with us when we're going through joyful things. No matter what you've done or what has happened in your life, God still loves you and he's there for you and he died for you, and that's amazing. I've gone through periods in my life where I haven't done the best at seeking out Christ, but every time that I do, I find him. He's just there waiting for us to seek him out. He won't take your trials away necessarily, maybe sometimes he will, but he promises to be with us and to bless us along the way and we can do hard things with him by our side.